These are the 2013 ATP World Tour Awards, presented by Moet and Chandon. And this year, the Bryan brothers are the recipients of two awards. The ATPWorldTour.com Fans Favourite Doubles Team Award, presented by Moet and Chandon. And the ATP World Tour Number One Doubles Team Trophy, presented by Emirates. Given to the team who end the year at the top of the Emirates ATP Doubles Team Rankings. The most successful doubles team in the history of the sport, the 35-year-old twins have now won each award a record nine times. Congratulations to Bob and Mike Bryan. Well, their, their achievements are absolutely legendary. I was going through some of the stats earlier today and my pen ran out trying to write them all down. But I'm delighted to say that Bob and Mike, or Mike and Bob, are here. Bob and Mike, in fact, they are the Got one it. they're at. Got yeah, it. love it. <laughs> are with us now. Guys, great to see you. Um, and before we go anywhere else, just congratulations on, on everything you've achieved. And just tell us about the awards you picked up tonight. Uh, yeah, well, we got the fan favorite award, which was uh, awesome. It was nine years in a row. Uh, and that's that's really important to us because uh, you know they gave us our job. It's it's playing in front of all those people that that make it fun each year, and it's it's why we're still playing at 35 years old. And then we won the uh, ATP number one, you know, the year end number one, which is For probably the our biggest it's year our as well. Ninth so. year, yeah. It's our it's our biggest goal starting out each year. Is it's not to win this tournament or that tournament, but it's to finish the year as a top team, which is um, you know you have to be consistent and, and win, a, win a lot. Yeah, Mike, how, um, what does it mean to you to, I mean, with everything else you've achieved, to pick up these awards here tonight? Yeah, I mean, uh, the number one trophy is probably the, our most special uh, award we get all year. Uh, when we set out in January, uh, that's always what we're gunning for. And uh, this year was probably our best season we've ever had. You know, we did well at the slams, uh, won three of those, and uh, won 11 titles. So uh, <laughs> we couldn't be happier. Luckily, this guy wasn't on tour, uh, but he's going to be back to try to compete for this, this trophy next year. And yeah. always, what, what motivates you each, at the start of each year? I mean, you've had so much success, won so many slams. How do you keep the, the drive to keep going? Uh, I mean, we're competitors. We hate to lose. You know, it, it really hurts losing. Uh, we, we're perfectionists as well. We like to get better. Um, you know, we go to the gym each morning and uh, we're still working on our games at 35. We have a great coach, David McPherson. Who, we had him earlier. We've met him. Yeah, yeah he, he's, a, he, he's a genius. You know, he, he gives yeah. us great scouting reports and he's always tweaking with our game, trying to, um, we're trying to improve, you know. You know, luckily in doubles, you don't, you don't start getting worse at 35. You actually can get better until, uh, you know, Nestor's turning 42 you know, and he's still playing uh, some great tennis. So yeah. hopefully we have a few years left. And, and talk to us about the, the communication with you two. I mean, whenever I play you guys, it never seems like you guys are flustered. You guys shake everything off so well. Great front runners, never let anyone get too far ahead of you. How does that benefit being so close and having such a great connection? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it starts with being positive. We have a lot of positive energy. As you know, you've played us, we're always bouncing around, sure. throwing a few chest bumps here and there. <laughs> uh, but we've played thousands of matches together. In doubles, it's all about communication. We have kind of the ultimate communication just because we played so many matches, points. Uh, we moved together uh, as a team. We don't use too many signals. No. Uh, no, I, can, I know what he's thinking most of the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what am I thinking? Well, you, you, are, <laughs> you are twins, so I guess that, what, you're two minutes apart, something like that? Yeah. yeah. So I guess, you know, what goes on between you up here must be, you know, you don't need to speak to each other. Is that right? Does that make a difference it, to you? It, it is a little bit true. I mean, uh, growing up, we had our kind of secret code language. You know, we, we didn't start saying words until we were like five because we had all these <laughs> code words and, and weird stuff. and. Uh, we had to go to like speech therapy, you know, because we had our <laughs> twin language. And it's, it's, it's a little, it's kind of what helps us on the court. You know, we, um, we play pretty quick. You know, our matches are sometimes, a lot of times under an hour just because we're, um, we're not spending time talking to each other, going over the serves and, and the poaching and the strategy because that stuff's just kind of uh, second nature, I guess. Yeah, and you're mirror twins, aren't yeah. you? Which is quite rare. I think I'm right in saying so. One of you is left-handed, one of you is right-handed, yeah. but everything is mirrored. Everything's mirror, yeah, he's, he's a lefty. And, uh, you know, a lot of the great teams have been lefty-righty in the past, you know. Uh, it's tough seeing a lefty server, as we all know, as righties. Uh, and uh, we never have to serve in the sun. We get to use the wind or advantage. Uh, it doesn't hurt to be, you know, around 6'2 and, and over. Uh, 
He's a big server. I'm a, a decent returner. Decent. So uh, come on, my <laughs> team, um, both <laughs> teams complement each other uh, pretty well. And, and boys, talk to me about this place, the Barclays World Tour Finals. How important yeah. it is for you and the O2 Arena and everything that comes with this week? Yeah, I mean, this is a this is a reward for a great season, and all the teams are gunning to make it to this big stage. Um, it's obviously great for doubles that uh, we're here with the singles guys. Mm -hmm. We're playing before you know Roger Federer, Novak Djokovic in front of packed a packed arena. You know the spotlight's just on that court. Um, TV. Uh, you know, you, you could say you could say many things about this place. We feel like rock stars, and it's. Uh, and and when you're playing, do you, can you see the crowd around you? Are, you? are you aware of how dark it is around you, or is it really focused on that one court? Um, yeah, I mean, no, no. In, in normal tournaments, you can see people walking around. You often have to tell them to sit down. But you know, when, when the spotlight's on the court and, and it, the rest is dim, you kind of, you know, you laser-like focus right on the court and, and on, the, on the tennis. How, how do you feel having Charlie, who's who's our colleague, coming out and? Door stepping you with the microphone before you're on court. Not, Say you love it. Would you? She, she's pretty easy on the eyes. Uh, <laughs> but it, it, it's cool. She's, she's been nice. I've seen uh, them working out in the gym pretty hard. Yeah, yeah. you guys have been killing them in there. Yeah, we're trying to. Yeah, yeah, Charlie's got this challenge, so we've been working out a little bit, trying to learn from the best. Yeah. <laughs> and in terms of the, the the platform, literally the spotlight you get here on doubles, there probably aren't many other tournaments through the year that give you quite such, you know, the, the, quite such a focus, quite such an emphasis on doubles. Yeah, I mean, we're always trying to spread the gospel doubles, trying to make doubles more popular. Uh, it's one of our big goals. And, uh, you know, I can compare this like Davis Cup, where, you know, there's that Saturday match is so pivotal. Um, everyone's focused right on, on that court um, on that day. And so, uh, yeah, the, the O2 has done a lot for, for our sport, and uh, we're really appreciative. Just uh, got the pictures through of you receiving your number one awards here, both the year end and the fans award. And I guess, you know, this is the perfect place to receive yeah. that, of course. I mean, this is the this is the pinnacle for, for us is to to be on that court receiving that award. You know, it's uh, it's always nice to, to put that trophy in the trophy case. It's, uh, it goes right at the front. How many trophy cabinets do you have? Uh, <laughs> it's going to start be the condensing. Uh, you know, it, it's uh, it's funny. A lot of them are, are stacked. You know, those you got a master series plate. You just now they're just stacked up like pancakes. <laughs> but uh, the grand slams, uh, the Olympic golds uh, yeah. goes right in the front. And uh, these these are the most special. And how important is Davis Cup for you boys? I know we're playing against yeah. you guys next year, which yeah. will be exciting. Yeah. Um, but uh, how important does Davis Cup? How does it rank in terms of tennis and schedule? Yeah, Davis Cup's always uh, it's a huge goal of ours to, to do well for our country. Uh, you know, it's up there with the slams. You know, uh, we uh, we had a couple losses, and those really hurt this year. You know, when you let your country down, your teammates. Uh, those are the ones that stick with you, and uh, you actually wake up in the middle of the night with some nightmares. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we're, we're looking to play better next year. We have, we have you guys, yeah. which is going to be yeah. tough. Well, hopefully, you won't play better. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> see how Andy Murray's feeling, but uh, I hear he's feeling good, so uh, that's, that's tough. And uh, hopefully, you're out there. Yeah, but uh, so. it'll be fun to play you guys in San Diego. Well, looking... Why have you chosen clay? Sorry to interrupt, Ross. Why have you gone for clay next year? Uh, well, we've been going fast indoor courts over the last, uh, I would say, seven or eight years, and it was kind of Andy Roddick's choice to have the lightning uh, court for his serve. Hmm. Um, but, you know, with this new team, Isner, he likes to return. He serves big on any surface. He likes to get in the points a little more and, and, and work it from the baseline. Query's the same way, and we feel like doubles, um, just the more tennis that, that can be played with the longer points, uh, we feel like it, you know, it favors our team. Ross, how mm. does that fit with you? Well, you this is a good, he's a good play. He, he can play on anything. I, I played these boys in Monte Carlo a couple of years ago, and I won the first set. And I was thinking, oh, I've got a sniff. And I think it was 6 1, 10 2 in about 10 minutes. So uh, oh, clearly lucky. they didn't, uh, they got lucky. didn't let me do that. <laughs> but boys, I want to talk about uh, next year yeah. and how much you're looking forward to a new season. Obviously, I know you've still got this season, but what will you look forward to next year and what will be the goals going forward in your 36th birthday year? Um, I mean, yeah, like, as, as we said, be each year we want to finish number one. It would be our 10th time number one, uh, which would be great. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're just having fun. I mean, yeah. we're going to be traveling with our families. He's newly married. I'm having a baby in December. Um, so it's going to be, it's gonna be great. Yeah, number two, <laughs> baby number two. It's going to be great just going around the world again, showing us, uh, sharing these experiences with my little, gr my little girl and my little boy to come and my wife. Um, yeah, we have a good gig. It's a good job. And what about tomorrow? You've got a big match tomorrow yeah. against the Polish Power. You played them a lot in the past. Yeah. You guys have been together for so many years, both of you. Are you looking forward to that match? Yeah, I mean, that's a, a do or die match. Uh, we have to win that to stay alive. Uh, they're a tough team. They, they play big tennis. Uh, they're kind of like all or nothing. They go big on the serve. They kind of 
they like to play like us. We like to hit big yeah. serves and get all the net. Um, we played them like five days ago in, in Paris. Um, and you it, got the win? We got the win in, in a super breaker. Okay. But um, we're hoping to win in straight sets. If you get to a super break, you know it's a, it's it's a, a basic toss. coin, <laughs> coin toss. Uh, but they've also beaten us a uh, numerous amount of times. So go either way. We're hoping to get it done. Guys, we have to let you go now because I know sports. you're in great demand. Yeah. But thanks ever so much for coming to talk yeah, to us on Holding Court Live, presented by Barclays. And many, many congratulations on everything. Thank you. Best of luck yeah. of the weekend. Bob and Mike, Brian.